this is SSC Gamers portal and today we're gonna check about changing the build.prop file of your Android device now let me tell you before beginning what is the build.prop file actually the build.prop file is the file that all the websites and the app use to determine to show apps or show the web content it is where the software info operating system info kernel info everything about the total specs of your mobile are saved there so for accessing that build.prop file the prerequisites are that first of all your mobile should be rooted if you don't know how to root you can check out me another video uh, of our channel how to easily root your device and now we have taken a very old phone that's LG E405 to make people believe that it is possible on each and every device so once you have your phone rooted you need to download an app known as root explorer or any other root browser you can check and then access the root explorer and you gotta go down and go to the uh, system directory and go down and select the folder system once it's up you gonna get a file named build.prop if not you can scroll down and then you have to open it it will open in read only mode and here you can see all your device info is stored here build the properties build display kit cats of build version release 4.4.2 Product model LG E405, product band LG E. Now, how you might be thinking how we can edit this? Well, it's very, very easy. You have to select it and get an option named Open With. And once it's done in your root browser or root explorer, you can get this app, Text Editor. And once you have opened it, you'll have your text editor with you. So, let me show you how to change the Android operating system version. Actually, this will not change the operating system version, but make the Play Store believe that your device is running on the uh, higher operating system version and show apps accordingly. Like various apps are not supported in KitKat, but are supported in Lollipop. No matter if your specs meet or not. So I'll go on and type 5.0.1. And in the product model, I'll type uh, no product brand. I'll type S uh, S A M M S Samsung. And in the product model, I'm gonna go ahead and type. Uh, S M dash uh, caps J five zero zero and caps F. Make sure you type a valid product model that is a valid mobile. Otherwise, a Play Store will uh, take this device as an unrecognized model number. And just to save it, you have to press the back again. You have to make changes to this one. Do you want to save this before exiting? Of course, you will click on yes. File save. Now, uh, let me show you. Uh, it will not be activated as soon as this. Uh, so, about phone, we can see it. It's 4.4.2 LG E405. Now, to activate the, our renamed build.prop file, we have to reboot our device. Now let's go ahead and reboot our device. I'm pausing the video till it's being rebooted. So now we have our uh, device rebooted. And make sure you type the valid operating system details and everything. So that your mobile does not fall into a boot loop and let me uh, let the mobile as the card load and then I'll show you how it's done now here we have settings I'll open it up and scroll down and find the about phone here you can see the model number SMJ 500 that's what the Samsung Galaxy J5 and another the mobile that I have 
and the Android version 5.0.1. Now you guys must have got what I was going to say. What I was about to say that uh, this method is, does not require any of the apps like you must have seen that the users download some kind of an app but this method is uh, is totally without an app and you can change the build or drop from any root explorer so thanks for watching if you like the content of our channel please subscribe like and share so that our channel grows bigger i love you all guys thanks for watching bye bye